Australia has just announced a major crackdown on vaping, effectively banning the recreational use of e-cigarettes. The only way you'll legally be able to get your hands on one is in a pharmacy with a prescription. And it's sparked calls for changes to happen here. As Leighton Haeckel reports, the government says it isn't on the agenda. It's a common sight these days, vape clouds filling the footpaths. I just love nicotine, eh? I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And Kiwis are hooked. Yeah, I'm addicted. That's pretty much it, yeah. I actually tried to quit. Tried to quit? Yeah. How did it go? I'm trying, I'm yeah. trying. It was designed to stop people smoking, but health advocates say it's caused a problem of its own, a new generation of nicotine addicts. 20% of our youth who are regular vapors is terrible, and we need to address it now. Australia has the same problem. It was not sold as a recreational product, and in particular, not one for our kids. But that is what it's become. The biggest loophole, I think, in Australian healthcare history. Their country already requires prescriptions for vapes, but they're cracking down even further. Disposable vapes will be banned, so too the importation of non-prescription products. There will be restrictions on colours, flavours and nicotine levels, and all remaining vapes will need pharmaceutical packaging. We've got to deal with this now. Um, this, is, this is a moment to shut down a major health risk to the youngest generation of Australians. I think this signals to New Zealand that we need to have a very open, frank debate about vaping in this country. But our government won't follow suit. We're not at that point uh, at this stage. The health minister says following Australia's move isn't something the government could do this term because it would require legislative change. But Aisha Verrill is looking at other proposals to beef up our restrictions. We need to get the right balance between vapes being available as a tool to support people to quit and making sure young people don't vape. We haven't got that balance right at the moment. And until we do, more and more young people are getting hooked. Leighton Haeckel, News Hub.